Hey guys, so what's going on? So I just have a short video to share with you in response to a question I received from a few different viewers on how to format a USB flash drive for use between a Mac computer and a Windows PC. So I will show you how to format a USB flash drive so it's compatible between both of those platforms. So for the video, I'm going to use an Extreme USB 3.0 64 gig SanDisk drive, and you may have one that's 8 gig or 16 gig and so forth. Uh, that will work fine as well. I'll show you guys quickly I am using a Windows 10 PC for this, and this will also work just fine for, you know, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8. So what you want to do, guys, is go into your devices and drives. There's an icon on your desktop, should say this PC or my computer. You want to double click that. Down here under devices and drives, you should see your flash drive pop up. Let me go ahead and plug mine in. And let's see here. Okay, it popped up right there so all you need to do guys is make sure you right click on it and you get this dialog that pops up and you're looking for the format option here just left click that you'll get another dialog pop up here right now the current file system on there is fat32 which works as well but it does not support larger file size so if you guys have file sizes you know say your the file you're trying to copy is larger than four gig then you know you want to go to something newer and that supports larger file size so you want to choose ex fat here Okay, and then you want to come down and select quick format, name your drive, whatever you want there, and click start. And you'll get a warning message, and make sure you guys you don't have anything important on there because this is going to format your flash drive. So this is going to wipe it completely off. And go ahead and choose OK, format complete, and there you go. Now you should be able to use this on your Mac computer, it should show up and on your windows pc it should show up and it will support those file sizes that are larger than four gig so basically exfat is extended file allocation table um, you know this one's a little older and the ntfs is basically the windows default one so uh, there you go guys that's pretty much all you got to do and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up please share it and guys if you haven't already subscribed to my channel check out some of my other videos so thanks guys for watching and have a good one see you later